Hello guys and welcome to another Era of Chaos video. Guys, after almost three months with this account I decided that it is time to just call it a day and focus on my main account. Reason being, it takes a lot of time to develop two accounts in Era of Chaos, trust me. In the first one or two weeks it's fine, but after that it's getting really, really time consuming. So I decided that my experiment is over. I achieved what I wanted to achieve, so I just wanted to share with you my final findings and what I basically did in those almost three months in the game on my beginner account. Uh, basically, uh, in the crypt, I'm fifth, even though I improved my score two days ago, but uh, I don't think I will be getting any further than number five, or let's say number four, something like this. In the Dwarven Treasury, though, I'm second, so that's pretty cool. Uh, my devil is really strong and brave. This is the main reason. The only guy who has more is uh, one of the strongest players in our server he has a uh, stronger devil of course three stars awakened and uh, he also has the venom spawn yeah you got the idea but the second place for vp6 player is pretty good and before we continue i just want to mention that i wasn't trying extremely hard on this account so in a lot of cases i'm going to miss some events i'm going to miss some dailies i wasn't trying hard on the inferno missions i wasn't trying hard getting gems so I could have done much better and I did a huge mistake. I mentioned that in the previous video, we did a huge mistake because uh, for some weird reason I decided that uh, getting the power to Dragon Father is a good idea. Uh, well, no, it isn't. This artifact was incredibly overpowered when I started the game 1.5 years ago. Uh, this artifact could literally change the tides of almost any battles in the beginning of, uh, let's say, all the way to 5, 6, 7 million power. Right now this artifact is almost useless, level 1. This dragon is so weak that it almost instantly dies. <laughs> no point of investing anything in this artifact. I'll go straight ahead for the Sword of Frost or uh, the Angelic Alliance, depending on what you want to achieve. So, with that said, uh, let me quickly introduce to my uh, introduce to you to my um, to my formation. I'm using uh, three factions: Conflux, uh, for Rampart and Castle. Basically, this is my formation. Uh, not really the greatest one, but it's really working at the moment. So you can see I'm beating higher VAP um, level players with uh, paid heroes. And for example, this Kilgore, I'm not saying that he has the perfect Kilgore build, he doesn't, but still uh, he has a pay hero, which basically leads me to the main thought. Heroes currently are not really that much big of a deal. They just, especially after Dark Elemental. Dark Elemental is completely broken <laughs> character. I've never seen a character so broken before. So basically, uh, heroes not really that important. I'm not saying that they are useless. They are not, but they are not really that important compared to what they used to be, uh, like uh, two years ago or let's say 1.5 years ago, or even one year ago. Uh, so, for example, this guy, this guy has a pretty good um, role and build and uh, paid hero and more power and you can see nothing matters for a dark elemental you see <laughs> absolutely nothing matters because i'm going to win this match uh, so yeah despite all the mistakes i did despite the fact that uh, i wasn't trying hard i am pre doing pretty good at vap6 and the reason why i got to vap6 in the first place i had to be vap4 was because i did another really bad mistake i decided that's a good idea to spend 1.5 um, thousand gems opening uh, you know, the event for the commanders one by one because I needed two or three shards or whatever. Uh, scrolls, let's call it that way. But I didn't get any. And then I just spent some money, you know, to get to VAP 6 and to buy two point, uh, just a 10 pack. So, yeah, you see, I just defeated this guy just like this. He's VAP 9. So basically, he spent much, much more money than me. Uh, the only character the only hero that I cannot beat is a uh, strong dragon material player he basically look at this he has two ss uh, not ss i'm sorry commander six stars so I, I cannot really do anything here at this point uh so yeah when it comes to the other in arena i'm eight even though i can compete for number seven number six I can. I'm convinced that I can only also take number five if i if i do this guy let's see i'm just going to do it now live Let's see whether I can beat him. Alrighty, let's see this, 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 and let's see what's going to happen. I think that I might be able to beat him, but let's see. Just, I'm just curious. Uh, still, there is a bigger chance to uh, fail because, after all, he has six stars commander. But I just want to see what's going to happen. I'm just curious. I beat this guy in the past. 
And the, the point is, even if I beat him now, let's say I beat him now and I get uh, his position in the arena, definitely I cannot defend against him. That's that's my biggest problem. And for now, I'm doing pretty good. He, the ultimate comes though. All right, let's see. That's that's going to be really, 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 <laughs> and probably. Probably I'll be able to beat him, probably. You know, in a lot of cases when I'm uh, battling Dragon with Terra players, I end up almost winning and at the end of the day I'm unable to kill the Black Dragon with a weapon. So this is the main reason why I lose. But as you can see, probably I'll be able to take the fifth place in arena right now. As VAP6. Uh, yeah, I actually beat him. So, uh, once again, the game is all about units now. It's not about heroes. So Jellu uh, beating... Dragon Mutter. And look at the insane amount of damage. This unit is absolutely broken. When it comes to this unit, I'm sorry, this video is all over the place now, and I realize that. But um, I just want to show you everything that I achieved. So, and basically, I'm going to uh, divide, not divide, but arrange every single of my videos that I did on my main, um, beginner account. I'm going to put it in a separate playlist so that you can see it step by step. The Dark Elemental, guys, is um, this is the emblems I have on him. Uh, this, once again, this unit absolutely broken. And if you're asking me how I managed to start casting the emblems, the answer is pretty simple. I went to the Assassin's Creed event and I spent a lot here. And I mean a lot. Look at this. And the reason why I did that is because uh, in the um, when you get the uh, path of an assassin orange or uh, the orange um where were you is this the orange one purple where is the purple orange all right okay that's the one the orange sanctuary of cosmos by the way don't know if, whether you uh, you knew but you can cast path of an assassin by using orange sanctuary of cosmos so you have pretty good chance of getting either a uh, path of an assassin orange or a uh, sanctuary of cosmos orange which means that you can uh, cast an orange path of an assassin really really good so the chance of you getting a path of an assassin is double <laughs> so this is the this is the way how i casted um this is the way how i casted the emblems of my dark elemental and currently i also have the required um let's say materials to get another path of an assassin which will basically means that i'll have two sets which i can use later in uh, my um yeah, there we go. So I have one orange and I have materials to get, get another one the moment they uh, give us the chance to do that. And once I will unlock uh, this second power, this will mean that I will be able to have two orange sets. So I can use that on uh, guild bosses, so I can use that on dragon invasion and so on and so forth. So the point is having orange POA as soon as possible is really, really important to you. Emblem Redemption ticket. I have enough tickets now to unlock another part of an assassin emblem. So basically I'll have eight and that's enough in order to do dragon invasion or to do dra guild bosses and so on and uh, so forth. Uh, so in terms of um, the other events, the Duel of Champions, I'm usually in the top seven, top eight. I don't think I, I was out of top 8 for the last two seasons, so I'm doing pretty good there, as you saw, I'm beating players with uh, paid heroes. When it comes to Glory Arena, I'm not really trying hard here at all, I'm 24th, it, it doesn't really matter to me. All I do is I'll get to level 1, I'm sorry, to place 1, because this guy is a guildy, so he's going to drop defenses, I'm going to beat him, get all the rewards, and then drop to some other place, I don't really care. Uh, and uh, in terms of the other game modes, for example, in the Pantheon, in the crossover clash of gods i managed to become in to get in top 32 but then of course i was defeated the battle of the gods if you go to the tournament i was uh, knocked out in the quarterfinals i guess and as i actually managed to yeah i, I took one game so uh, currently my main my main issue was that i have a really strong gel and i don't have a very strong second hero and i was in the process of working on that but at some point i said that's enough i just cannot cannot really do more with um with the current account that i have uh, just no no time <laughs> you can see here i have ten thousand dragon uh, blood the reason being i i just don't have the green drag uh, dragon and uh, i don't want to spend it on the angel because i don't really use the angel i expected to get the paladin unfortunately I didn't and i when it comes to my other faction which is the conflux i didn't get uh, the physical element or whatever and this guy here on the conflicts forest so nowhere to spend this thing as of <laughs> this date what else to show you guys i believe i already showed you uh, here the crypt i am fifth in the dragon treasury i am second so i'm doing pretty good there the dragon invasion i'm usually in top three the last two times i was i believe third so i'm doing quite good there and now right now with my part of an assassin emblems 
if I'm able to get, and actually it's not a question of if, question is of when I'm going to get the second um, set. So I only need one part of an assassin, so I require them to reinstate the event so I can spend my tickets. And the moment I get the second orange part of an assassin emblems, I will be uh, doing much, much better in Dragon Invasion. Probably I'll be contesting number one. The problem is that I don't really get a lot of good debuffers. Literally yesterday I opened uh, my... Uh, my SR Plus pack and sadly I got this unit, uh, the Basilisk. Well, it is not a bad unit, but I won't be playing Fortress. So <laughs> not really good for me and I won't be using that unit almost at all. And with that said, what else to show you guys? What else to talk about? Uh, when it comes to the artifacts, once again, <laughs> I have the Wizard 12 13, but I want to get it at uh, for level 14 as soon as possible. Probably this was going to happen next week, but it's not going to happen since I'm quitting the account. And uh, yeah, basically I have um, invested some gems in the Mirror of Revenge here, a little bit here, here, and as you can see, a lot of other stuff that I can do. But my biggest mistake is that the power of the Dragon Father, I, I shouldn't have done that. This drag is really, really weak. And in terms of the Trial of Angels, I am all the way to the top. 17-3, and I started working on 17-3. Unfortunately, my Zyder, his spells are really weak at the moment. Probably in two weeks, I might be able to pass this stage, but at the moment, I, I'm not able to. And the only person who passed it is uh, this guy. He's VP 13, VP 14 or something. So, uh, yeah, you can imagine that uh, he's much, much stronger than me. And there is only one person in the server who did it. And in terms of the other things, I... Like, I was one of the first guys to pass a lot of stages here, so... Yep, I was doing pretty good in Trial of Angels. The Conflux Plane, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> like, honestly, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm beating everything here, but at, the, at some point I just don't require a lot of Conflux uh, things, so I don't really try hard there. And in the Inferno, I'm usually 7th or 8th. This is because I don't start playing immediately. So, yeah, you can see I'm 6th, and uh, probably I will be able to take this stage as well. You can see on number 6 we are stuck together with uh, this guy who is VAP 12, and this guy who is, I don't know, again, VAP 12, VAP 13. So, uh, probably at some point I might be able to beat this stage, but uh, once again, in order to do that, you have to try hard. <laughs> and I am not trying hard with this account, which is a shame, because I really had fun in the beginning but it just requires so much time. And basically this is it. I don't think that I'm missing something here. Uh, everything else is uh, self-explanatory. So yeah, this is going to be all for me for today and from my beginner account, guys, see you next time. Take care and stay safe. Perfect.